Sustainability isn't a side project in plant breeding anymore. It's a defining challenge of our time. And few have seen that shift unfold from as many angles as Eduard Fito, president of Semilla Fito and board member of Euroseeds. After more than three decades in vegetable breeding, he's seen the meaning of sustainability transform from a question of productivity to one of purpose. So we sat him down to talk about what sustainability really means in practice and where we're heading next. If we look back and probably at the very beginning of, of this uh, movement, so to speak, uh, it, it might be considered something cool, something that uh, nice to be. But I think this is now something that is, uh, there's no question, there's no doubt about it, and we, we need to be uh, sustainable. Tell me what sustainability discussions are like within your company. How have they changed over the last handful of years? We intend to be a very a purpose-driven company. And so we, when we started to see um, uh, the complexity on how we our company impacts in, in, in the society, so we uh, rapidly understood that the sustainable, sustainability has to be part of, of this uh, discussion, of this vision that we have. Especially in the last, I would say, five or six years, so we, we, we started to embed these, these, these ideas in, in our strategy, in, in our conversations, um, in our ratios. It was like a kind of a conversations uh, around the coffee machine. Uh, and now it's, it's, it's something that is uh, discussed on, on, the, on the BOD, on the board of directors. So there's been a very clear evolution of from just uh, uh, the goodwill of doing good things to be a part of of the strategic of a strategic uh, uh, element on on our business plan or business strategy. Right. So you have this platform to talk to others in your position at at companies all over the world. What would be your call to action for for other companies who may be at different phases in their thinking around sustainability? Um, call for action. So, um, well, first, that you have to get rid of the idea that uh, sustainability is uh, a nice thing to be, a nice thing to have, or something that, okay, well, it's for the hippies or for the, you know, or for the, I don't know, the, it's, it's, it's something that it's, it's, it's necessary. So we, um, we, we have to understand there is no plan, planet B. <laughs> so we, there is only one planet and, and, and things are changing very rapidly. Uh, and, and if we do, if we do not nothing, we don't do nothing. So, uh, we will end up in, in a, in, I mean, giving this planet to the next generations uh, in a, in a very, in a worse situation. So that, that's something that it has to be understood. It's a serious and real uh, situation, and 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 also maybe a, a another because probably that say well yeah be, but what about the cost of doing that and it's not I mean the cost is not significantly higher it can even be cheaper so we, if I don't know if for instance you you start in a, you invest in in solar panels for instance or this kind of thing so you you might realize that the end, at the end of the uh, of the day. You are saving money, or uh, or having more efficient machinery or more efficient uh, so uh, procedures. So you 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 end up uh, saving water, saving uh, energy. 